go to www.teamviewer.com in order to download TeamViewer. Today we're going to talk about TeamViewer for meetings. Go down to TeamView 14 Preview, version 14. This is the latest version. And click the Download Now button in order to download TeamViewer. The TeamViewer is now downloading from the TeamViewer website and being saved to your computer. Once the download is complete, browse to the place where you save TeamViewer in order to begin the installation. I'm using Internet Explorer here. Your browser may work a little bit differently. Go down the list here and list of the modified date. There's TeamViewer. Right click on it and choose Open or Run or double click on it to begin the installation. Once TeamViewer is installed, you'll have this window on your screen. You can also set up TeamViewer in one of the choices as basic installation and personal non-commercial use. You have a TeamViewer ID that identifies you on the network as well as a password that changes every time you restart the computer. But we're not interested in the remote control aspect of TeamViewer in this particular video. We're interested in the, in the meeting capacity. So underneath the double-headed arrow on the left-hand side is a little icon with people. Click on that and that's your meeting TeamViewer environment. The presenter or the organizer of the meeting will give you a meeting ID. This is where you type it exactly in as it's been given to you. And once you've done that, you can put your name there and click Join Meeting. Once you've joined the meeting, you'll probably have a window something similar to this. You'll see at the top your meeting ID, and you'll also see the various participants in this meeting. One of the things to take notice is to make sure that your microphone is unmuted. This is the microphone icon here. Just click on that, and this unmutes your microphone. In order to share the video, this box down the bottom here, this line here is my video. You can click on this little icon here to pop it out. And in this window, you'll be able to see all the participants in the meeting. You can click on this icon here, and you can begin to see the participants as they each speak in the meeting. We can also add other participants in the meeting as well. I will, for the sake of the exercise, turn off the video and pop it back down in its box. We also have a whiteboard for sharing, inf for sharing information as well as a file box and the presenter of the meeting, usually myself as secretary, will usually um, share the screen in such a manner that you can be able to read and participate in the meeting. When the meeting is over, the presenter of course will close the meeting and, um, and you'll be back to your team viewer environment. If you need remote support of course, please contact Classic IT Support. We'll use this team viewer ID and whatever password appears there to connect to your computer and help you with understanding exactly how TeamViewer meeting. I hope this video has been of some help.